We were fishing for the bluefish again and hooked the 65 inch black tip. I caught it. It just shows you gotta be ready when you're throwing the cup bait. Hey everybody, we're back. It's been about three weeks. We just haven't been able to get to the beach for numerous reasons. And we probably should have stayed home today. The surf is huge and the current is really, really bad. But we're here and we're just gonna have to do the best that we can because we're showing you every trip that we go on. So today's definitely gonna be a rough day. You get a look at the bend of the rod, that's how bad the current is. That looks like a fish, but it's not. It's the spider weight skipping down the beach. So you guys that have surf fished in these conditions, you know what I'm talking about. That's a three ounce spider weight on her little star rod. I don't know, we might not even be able to catch a fish. That, that's not a fish, that's the current bouncing the weight. That's how bad it is. The surf is really big and rough. We got about 30 minutes before high tide. And as soon as the tide begins to go out, the current's gonna go way up. And it's already really bad. So our only hope is to get lucky and catch a whiting or something and maybe you can get the bluefish in these conditions. Because anything else, not gonna happen. And there is no way, I put the shark rod up already. Her shoulders messed up and I would have a really really hard time with a big black tip in this surf that's pretty dangerous because it's just me and her there's nobody else here and you can see there's no way I'm getting a shark with this well we've been here two and a half hours she's holding the rod a little bit now I've been holding it for over an hour and a half because her shoulders bottom her so much high tide was 30 minutes ago so the tide is going out and the current is getting even worse i don't even think we've had a confirmed bite at all the current's so bad you can hardly tell because it's skipping the spider weight all the way down i don't think we're going to stay much longer today i think it's pointless we're going to try though if we can get something for cut bait i think we might be able to get bluefish in this in these conditions we're gonna to try to come in a couple of days, but the last time I said that, it was almost three full weeks. So, surf fishing's tough. That's just the way it is. Okay, we finally got one white, it's a whiting, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's one also, whiting. It's also a fluke. But, yeah. I guess we're gonna stay now. I'm gonna okay. put it on the other rod for the blue fish. All right. We've been here about three hours. This is all we got, and I guess it's, it's my new channel, American Fishing Husband. Yeah, I gotta fish. I'm, I'm the one who's I'm gonna fill him in She's today. Okay, right. let's go get some blue fish. All right, okay, by some kind of a fluke, I caught the whiting, and now I cut these pieces up, put it on the double 60 bluefish rig with the four and a half ounce spider weight and the. Uh, Tsunami Airwave Elite and the Cabo 80. And now, just by catching that whiting means we got at least three hours to go. Now that we got cut bait, we're not going home. And with my wife not being able to fish, it's hurting us pretty bad. So it's all up to me now. Oh, we are on. Is it got off? Oh, he's on there. Is it on? Yeah. Wow. Okay, it's we a got one. Yep. Yeah. It's a small one? Wow. Yeah, he's not that big. Wow. He's probably about five feet, maybe, maybe five and a half. You think so? It's gonna be hard to get in because that has a drop off right there. He's twirling and... I don't know how 
are we gonna do that? It's gonna be hard to get him in. Yeah, because my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, with the uh, Karen and. I had this drag set really tight. Oh, I seen it was it, and I didn't expect to get the shark. Yeah, we, are, we were fishing for bluefish. Where do you think he is? Okay. You're gonna have to bring the pipe over and put it in there because I need the rope and my gloves. Okay. Hold on a minute. I can get it right now. Okay, that was extra sloppy, but we got the fish. Right there is the hook. Hold on a second. Second hook's in there. Watch out. Ooh. Okay, what do you think? Yep, it's good. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, that's good. I got to get it back in the water. Yep. First shark in the year. Yep. On the tsunami, I want to believe the Kabawaiti. That's why I got the rod rig like this when fish with the bluefish. This is what happened. Okay, let's get him out of here. Ready? Yep. All right. Be careful. Two good black 
tips on that little bluefish rig. <laughs> wow, because they'll straighten those hooks out. Okay, wow. we got one. Wow. And we was getting ready to go home too. So. Yeah. Alright. Good job. My new channel. <laughs> yeah. American fishing husband. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right. off. Watch your hooks. Okay, well we got the shark. Apologize that that was pretty sloppy because she's used to uh, fighting the fish while I do all the other stuff. And I did have a hard time getting that thing in. So here's the rig. I'm throwing it right back out with the identical size pieces. And that is the second black tip that size we caught when we're fishing for the bluefish. That's why I like to have a stouter rod instead of that nine foot Tika. I like the Tsunami Airwave Elite and now the Cabo 80 and I had the drag tight for the bluefish so it was a miracle the shark didn't pull the rod in because the, the drag on the Cabo 80 was still giving so that might have paid for itself right there so back out in the water it goes and this is why you come surf fishing you never know you just got to get your bait in the water or we wouldn't have caught that shark so let's do it again okay he's got a bite i think a bluefish yeah we didn't film that shark very good no she instinctively went over and grabbed it and put it in her thing and well, i didn't know what the shark. shark yeah but your shoulders messed up yeah she could barely hold the rod when i was trying to get the shark yeah is a bite? Did you get it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. It's my new channel. Yep. American, American fishing, fishing husband. husband. What are you doing? You don't care if fish get off and... <laughs> so the, the last time we caught the five and a half foot shark on the BG 5000, the very next cast we put the same rig on a cup of bluefish. That's what we did this time. My wife is basically crippled and she still grabbed the rod she wasn't supposed to. What do we got? A little whiting. That's okay. Wow, it's a shame that shark should have been hers too. But when I was out there leader in the I can fish. <laughs> yeah. I guess with the belt. When I was leader in the shark, she was back there only holding the rod with one hand, so... Oh, is it powerful? Yes, it is. Oh, it doesn't matter, believe me. In, it, it, it counts. He was on there. All right, let me take him off. All right, we're wrapping it up. We got the 65-inch black tip, two whiting, and a bluefish. It looked like it was going to be a horrible day. But that's what surf fishing's all about. You got to come.